And I'm back again for another vlog. And this one is going to be kind of a response video to another one of my vlogs. Uh, it's the uh, last one I did for my 60-ish second September where I was vlogging five days a week. And that one I did, I was talking about uh, how I like to be alone as opposed to being around other people. Recently, uh, I came across uh, this article about uh, the benefits of socialization. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link down below. And there is a list of benefits to being social with other people. And, and that got me thinking about my uh, other video and about whether or not it came off as like anti-social, which I was trying to not come across as. And uh, I know that uh, socialization isn't a bad thing, but it, it's just something uh, that everyone has to do whether you like it or not. And yeah, I'm not really a big fan, <laughs> but I am getting better. I am a lot better than uh, what I used to be, uh, but still not like, uh, like a, I don't wanna say normal, but just not at the level uh, with other neurotypical people, I guess. And because I'm not uh, there yet, I am kind of missing out on some of the benefits. Like uh, one of the benefits listed was it uh, socialization reduces stress and anxiety, which I kind of find the opposite of my experiences. But uh, but it also. Uh, stated that uh, you, you gotta do a lot of socialization uh, to uh, get over the anxiety that it creates. The, the more you socialize, the less anxiety you feel. So, yeah, I, I, I can see that. And it really kind of depends on the day I'm having or the mood I'm in, or, uh, whether or not I want to be around people, because some days uh, I'm like uh, wanting to uh, talk to people uh, more and be around uh, some other people. and. And I kind of feel like I'm on the edge uh, and just can't quite get in uh, the circle with other people, the social circle, I'll call it. I'm just uh, like always on the outside looking in uh, and I, I do feel frustrated. Is this it? Is this really life? No, this isn't life. This isn't anything even representing life. But it's life for me. It's pretty pathetic, but it's all I got. I know what you're saying. Wow, that's pretty sad. Well, you know, yeah, it is fucking sad. I don't get to go out and hang with friends. I don't even have any friends. I have nobody to contribute anything to. I have nobody to talk to or bounce things off of. You know, say, hey, what do you think of that? I'll tell you what I think of that. No, it's just me bitching and moaning like I always do. And some would say, well, that's a pretty sad existence. Oh, yeah, it is a pretty sad existence. And then other days I have the complete opposite feeling. You fucking people. I, I feel like I can't do anything right around other people and uh, they're uh, looking at me and judging me and or I, I just feel like everything I do I screw up or everything I say 
uh, to people comes out wrong and I just uh, don't want to be around other people and you know, just want to get away for a little while uh, and be by myself. And even the conversation itself uh, might be like a, a turn off for me. Like uh, if I'm not interested in the conversation going on, then I just uh, don't pr participate in it and yeah, don't say anything. Like maybe because it's boring or I just have no interest in the subject matter and don't care. Uh, so I, I don't uh, respond. Like I would actually want to have conversations about uh, taboo subjects like uh, politics, religion, uh, stuff people say uh, you're not supposed to talk about with other people. There are three things they have learned never to discuss with people. Religion, politics, and the Great Pumpkin. Like those kind of conversations uh, I, I find more interesting and uh, want to be a uh, part of uh, rather than like just day-to-day -day conversations or like what's happening in other people's lives like like I guess like right now I'm don't really have a whole lot of stuff going on in my life I will have a little bit more going on when I start my new job at the ski resort. I guess uh, when I don't have a lot to uh, contribute to a conversation then I feel like I don't really need to engage with it uh, so so I, I don't. <laughs> but yeah I, I just wanted to clarify more uh, about what I said in that video. Uh, uh, I'm not trying to say that uh, I shouldn't be socializing or anyone with autism should not socialize. They should, but uh, just, you know, sometimes I would rather be alone and sometimes I want to be uh, a part of a conversation with other people but can't really get into it. All people should socialize uh, in, in one way or another. I mean like if you're communicating with other people online or f like through text messages that that still counts as socialization and uh, yeah I can do that but yeah, so socialization still a work in progress, not giving up on it, uh, and no one should give up on being uh, more social. So yeah, that's going to be all for this vlog. Until next video, goodbye.